Remember to get to PubMed from the library's homepage so you can tap into our full text. I'm going to point out a couple particularly helpful tools through PubMed. First up, MeSH. MeSH stands for Medical Subject Headings, and every article that is in PubMed will be assigned up to 20 of these MeSH terms. I'm going to click in and run a search for population health. I have two options, and I can see a definition for each. This can be important because you may or may not agree with the definitions that PubMed are assigning, which means you may have to use different words to get more relevant results if you do not agree. As another example, telehealth. PubMed automatically matches me to telemedicine, which is the official MeSH term. Essentially, MeSH are categories that keep things findable. The word trees underneath give you context to where telemedicine lives in PubMed. Feel free to explore those trees to get more ideas of relevant words to enhance your search and thus enhance your results. Let's go back to PubMed's homepage. A couple other resources to note are the is the clinical queries. This allows you to search for more clinically focused resources quicker. So depending on what you are looking for, this may be a great tool. The trending and latest articles at the bottom of the page can be great ways to casually explore topics. If you are still deciding and to see what other researchers are focusing on in this moment in time. All right, let's run a search. I'm going to search for telemedicine and rule or Appalachia, which is quite broad, but will still serve as a good example for some PubMed tricks I will show you. Now my results page may look different from yours, and that's because I'm logged into my free NCBI account. I suggest you create one with a Gmail or Yahoo email so you can set preferences, like I highlight the words I typed in, or I want to see abstracts right off the bat in my results, and I have 200 results per page. In addition to, NCBI will track every search you do for up to four months. You can even have specific searches and have them update you when there are new articles that fall into that search. They can come via email. It's a great tool. Anyway, since I have a high number of results, I want to start narrowing them. Some great ways to narrow is to utilize the filters on the left. Let's limit publication dates by five years. That helps. Now I'm going to limit to review under article type. This will give me systematic reviews, literature reviews, and so on, which can be great resources, especially at the beginning of your research process. Now we have a more reasonable amount of articles to start sifting through. Once you start exploring and find an article that looks perfect, there are two things to do. First is to pay attention to the MeSH terms that are assigned to that article. Incorporate those terms when you search again. Also, click on similar articles, and PubMed will automatically match you to what it thinks is most similar. Remember that filters will remain, so you may want to clear those for similar article searches. So in this case, we're not just limited to reviews, but all types of studies. Alright, that's all for now. If you are ever having trouble with your PubMed search or really anything else, do not hesitate to reach out to me.